Hey guys, I wanted to come on the video today and talk a little bit about how to understand non-story ballets or contemporary pieces and through the lens of watching a typically classical ballet company perform them. I wanted to talk on this subject because I had a few different people recently kind of ask questions about well, what does that piece mean? I didn't really get it. Uh, about our premiere for our new triple bill at Barish Stotts Ballet. Actually, I wanted to come on before it goes offline. You can still watch it for a 9.90 euro pass. Uh, that's just nine euros 90. I think that that finishes up February 4th. So if you're interested in watching it, especially maybe after watching this video, you can hop on down. I'll have the link in the description. It's funny to me because contemporary ballet or m more modern ballet pieces, uh, they're kind of thrown out there sometimes as a way to connect to new audiences. And yet I have found also in the past and recently that a lot of audience members don't actually get the piece. And I'm not sure if it's that they don't get the piece, but maybe they're not asking, they don't know what questions to ask themselves when they're watching the piece. So I thought I would just give a really simple uh, explanation on that. The point is, is that I want you to be able to watch these kinds of more contemporary modern dance pieces and get more out of them. I think that the number one question to ask yourself when you're watching a piece is just to simply ask, how does it make you feel? I think that's the broad question and that's what I do, that I just ask, how does it make me feel? Because if something doesn't have a story, and a lot of the times the contemporary and the modern ballets don't, even the neoclassical ballets, they don't have stories, it's not necessary to try to come up with a story if there obviously isn't one. Um, so if you're asking yourself, how do you feel? I would then subcategorize that and I would say, okay, well, how does the dance or the movement make you feel? And then I would say, how do the costumes and the set make you feel? And then I would say, how does the music make you feel? And for me, I think, of course, I also really care about the dancing, but I think a lot of the times the music also really sets the mood uh, to a piece. So I think that how the music makes you feel is uh, really important. So with those very simple questions, you can already get a lot out of a ballet. For example, our new triple bill, I'll talk about Bedroom Folk first, which is the second piece of the evening. Uh, I was not in that one, a lot of my colleagues were. I didn't get to see any of the rehearsal process, so the only time I got to see it was our dress rehearsal. So I did watch it properly as an audience member live, and the piece made me feel excited. It made me feel like I was appreciating the beauty of the human body. It also made me appreciate something different that I would usually get to watch uh, with a classical ballet company, which is what we are. Um, so if you're an audience member that is going to watch your classical ballet company and you've seen a lot of the classical story ballets and then you go to watch their triple bill, maybe now you're appreciating a really different kind of dance and you're seeing it on classically trained bodies which is a unique experience. So my impression basically of Bedroom Folk was really excited. It was a little bit sexy, but like in a weird kind of way, it was like beautifully weird. The silhouettes, um, the dancers were in really plain costumes up against mostly an orange, an orange backdrop that changed. The lighting would give a shadow of the dancers on the backdrop, so it felt like, yeah, it was more of like an appreciation of the human body and of this kind of dance. As simple as that. That's how I felt and that's why I took away from it and that's why I enjoyed it. So I was in Broken Fall by Russell Maliphant, which was the first piece of the evening, which was why I got a couple of comments saying it was really cool and I really liked it, but I didn't really get it. Well, I have to tell you, there's nothing I don't think to really get. So when I watched Online, I watched Sylvie Gem do the original piece. Uh, it was made on her and the two ballet boys. And so I had a similar experience of it being online and not being in person. So that does change how you feel about a piece. Whereas Bedroom Folk made me like really feel something deeply because I could literally hear them breathing on stage and I felt their presence from the stage. I couldn't do that with Broken Fall because I only watched it from a video. Well, 
many videos many, many times because I was learning the piece and uh, rehearsing it. So when I first watched it, my impression was a building throughout the piece. It began off very quietly and calmly. I could see that there were layers being added there were repetitive movements that I would see throughout the piece that then got added onto. And as the piece increased, also in the music, uh, the dancing got more and more challenging. It got faster. There was a lot of falling and then therefore a lot of trust because the woman was falling between the men a lot. Even the men were falling into each other. I felt like connected to the piece and that oh, what's gonna happen next, what's gonna happen next? And then it kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier until this final heart stopping kind of drop. Uh, and then the female finishes with a solo that's kind of just the dust settling on the piece, uh, which is really fun to dance also. I really enjoyed it because it's not like anything I normally do. It's like a lot of spinning around on the knees and all this stuff, so it took a lot of practice. Uh, to get that for me because that's not in my comfort zone. So it was really fun to do. So yeah, that's Broken Fall. Then when I actually rehearsed it, we were all able to speak with um, Malefent on these Zoom calls, uh, which is a unique thing now uh, with coronavirus <laughs> that maybe if he had been too busy doing something else, he might not have been able to come, but because he had free time, he was able to just hop on a Zoom call with us. And so he watched our rehearsals the final week uh, leading up to the filming. And he also, in addition to these things, talked about uh, the expansion and the contraction of the human form and how we would do very big things and then we would do very small things. Yeah, there is no story for Broken Fall as well. Uh, it's more of understanding the trust and the falling and the expansion and the contraction and seeing the, the piece build. Another example that I wanted to briefly get into uh, that is a classic, uh, a classic of neoclassicism uh, is Jules by Balanchine. And that was a full length non-story ballet uh, put on. So that's point shoes. So we were talking about bare feet or socks before, but we're gonna get a bit more classical now. But again, no story. So when you watch um, when you watch Jules, you will notice that the first part is emeralds. There is no story, um, but emeralds is the first piece. You might feel like I feel that it is sophisticated. I feel that it is calm waters. It feels very elegant um, and the music is beautiful and that continues with the sophistication and how elegant it is. And then for rubies, it's sexy, it's fiery, it's exciting, it's fun. And for diamonds then, it felt more regal and grand and big. So then that's what you take away from it. There is nothing more to get from it than, than this. Of course, people do say how emeralds is supposed to be the French technique for ballet and rubies is the American technique and diamonds is the Russian technique. However, I would like to point out that although that's true, it is still a Balanchine ballet. So it's always with a hint of American. So even though it is uh, maybe supposed to be a bit more classical for emeralds or a bit more classical for diamonds, it still has to be neoclassical and it has to be uh, Balanchine and I'm not trying to be passive aggressive at all. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like with these examples, I hope I helped you to maybe go into your next uh, triple bill evening or uh, a full length, but maybe it's neoclassical. Maybe this simple question of how does it make you feel? The music, the dancing, the costume and the sets, and just by asking yourself those questions, how does it make you feel? That's what getting the piece is. And if you would like to watch her triple bill, if you haven't already, it's available online. It is a pass of nine euros 90. Uh, this was not asked by the ballet, the media department at all, but I just am happy to share uh, what, what I can with you guys. And you can watch the piece now with this new information and this question of how do the pieces make you feel and you can analyze it for yourself.
and I'll see you next week. I think I'm gonna have a DIY finally. I've been putting it off and procrastinating it because I think it's gonna be a bit difficult, but it'll be worth it. If you liked the video, maybe you could give it a like if it helped you. And if you haven't already and you do like my videos, please subscribe. And I will hopefully see you next week. Bye guys.